What up, though? L K the Leprechaun dropping another one, real quick. Hit that subscribe button, that like button, and watch the video all the way through. And don't be afraid to comment your thoughts and opinions. Let me know what's going on in your life. This is gonna be more, um, you know, political type video. So if you don't like it, get on. Watch a different video. If you do like it, like that button, subscribe. Let me know what's going on in the comments. But I just wanted to, uh, just been, you know, I like what my man Elon Musk says. Go woke, go broke. <clears throat> Bud Light sales continue to plummet over one dude backlash. I forget his name. Um, you know, the, uh, the, the whole transgender uh, movement thing going on. Sales of Bud Light continue to plummet, reflecting ongoing backlash to the brand's decision to hire a transgender influencer, Dylan Mulvaney, as a spokesperson. According to data cited by the beverage industry trade publication Beer Business Daily, sales volumes of Bud Light for the week ending in May 13th sank 28.4%, extending a downward trend from the 27.7% decline seen in last week. At a time of profound cultural and political division in the U.S., light beer drinkers simply don't want to be drawn into another debate about values, said Beer Business Daily editor and publisher Harry Shoemaker. Most people don't care about this issue, facts, and don't want to get roped into a conversation, facts. Shoemaker said, therefore, they're not going to buy the beer, given a wide array of choice available to beer drinkers that is easy to switch brands, he said. A spokesperson for the Anusra Bush and Bev Bud Light's parent company, the, little, the, the, the company that owns Bud Light, did not respond to a request for comment. Um, then, it, you know, it's going on talking about some political BS, which nobody cares about. But, Initially, Bud Light's response was to ignore the criticism, saying Mulvaney was simply one of hundreds of influencers it worked with. But as the crisis snowballed, it moved to a place. Alyssa Hainershend, my bad, I'm, I, I'm not good with names, I'm not good with words. The first woman ever in charge of Bud Light's marketing and her boss, Daniel Blake, on leave multiple news outlets have reported. I don't even know what I just read. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, you know, been a lot of backlash. Bud Light doing this, uh, you know, this woke thing with uh, the, the transgender dude. And um, I know I seen some stuff on the news, Kid Rock, um, the musician Kid Rock, um, shooting a case of Bud Light. <laughs> and... Uh, I seen people, I seen Bud Light go on sale, but big 24 pack cases, whatever, three, four, five bucks, you know, it's, they, they're cheap. I seen articles where Bud Light was basically giving away beer to their, uh, to, to suppliers that sell it. And the suppliers still didn't want it because the customers ain't buying it. So why would the suppliers want it? And, uh, it's just, uh, you know, this, this uh, like my man Elon says, go woke, go broke, you know. And like my man uh, said in the article, we people don't care. Consumers, we as people, we don't care about these issues, you know. Um, but they're being pushed in our face and pushed and pushed in our face. And the majority of people don't care about it. They don't, they don't care about it at all. They don't want to see it. They don't. So, you know, uh, the people are fighting back and uh, it, it, go woke, go broke. People are losing money. Big businesses are losing money. Um, Target. Target's another one. Target losing $9 billion amid pride merchandising con conference. Blah, blah, blah. Controversy. Target stock is experiencing the worst six-day stretch since the six days ending May 25th, 2022. Target stock value is taking a hit, leaving shareholders in... The lurch as controversy continues to swirl over its pride merchandising plans, as first reported by 
Fox News Digital. Shares have slipped 1.6% on Thursday and have dropped more than 12.6% since the fur erupted a week ago. Shares have fallen for six consecutive days over that period, their longest losing streak since December 2022, where when their shares fell 27.34%. That um, it, so yeah, this I mean I got once again. Go woke, go broke. Target came out with a pride uh, clothing line or something like that. Um, trying to celebrate Pride Month, I think. Whenever that is. And, um, yeah, all that LBGTQIA+. I don't even know what, what that means. But, adding fuel to the fire for all that, you know, uh, Pride stuff. And now people ain't buying Target, and they're they're losing sales. Um, I read an article about um, a lady that worked in Target, and she said that amid losing all their sales, they Target hierarchy had passed down to them to hurry up and move all their Pride clothes to the back. It was in front. For everyone to see, nice little section. Sales started pummeling. They said everyone move the stuff to the back, put it in the corner, try to hide it. And um, obviously it's not working. Uh, Target's still losing money. Because once again, us as people, we don't care about that stuff. But, um, you know, you're not going to shove it in our faces. Our kids go to Target. And, um, you know, we refuse to be brainwashed by this stuff and have our kids be brainwashed by this stuff. Um, you know, th these big companies going woke are basically, they are marketing to a population that is so small and minute compared to, um, you know, everyone else that, uh, you know, does does not uh, identify as that the, the pride the pride stuff, you know. They just going in to get going to the man section, the woman section. They getting their clothes. They know what they want. You know, there's only two, three, four, maybe five percent of people now that identify as that pride or transgender or whatever you want to call it. I don't, you know, whatever people call it nowadays. And um, you know that that's just not the majority. So. Um, but yeah, that's that, that's crazy. Uh, you know, much love, peace, blessings to all the people. You know, all my people, pride people, LGBTQ people, gay people, lesbian people. I don't, you know, uh, I don't care about none of that stuff. I got gang gang of people in my family that are gay and lesbians. I grew up with a um with a homie that's uh um you know transgender you know what i'm saying it's it's all love with me everyone knows me and uh, uh my opinions and my thoughts and actions and i you know i uh give respect to everybody and um i expect everyone to you know give respect to me and uh but as far as you know big business collaborating with government and all these you know going in on it and trying to put it in the the, the music and and the their stores and, and our kids schools and the, and the kids videos people not having that um, I'm not having that and um, that's what happens you know what I'm saying go woke go broke baby like my man Elon Musk said and uh, you know that's 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 the only way I could sum it up as um, but you know everybody do you whatever it is keep doing you and uh, I'll catch you on the next one Hit that like, that comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Comment your thoughts and opinions. Uh, do you think companies should do uh, do the, the the pride thing or the woke thing? Or, or are you one of the people that are stopped going to Target and stopped drinking Bud Light because of the um, controversy and stuff? Uh, me, personally, never really shopped at Target. I don't drink. And when I do drink, it's not beer. So none of this stuff really affected me. Um, I know my girl like going to Target sometimes. Um, she has not gone to Target since this has happened. Um, but when I when I told her what's going on, 
she said uh, she do got like some gift cards or something to Target that she got to spend. But, um, but yeah, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. I'll catch you on the next one. Much love, peace, blessings, much gratitude.